41 Action News reporter Amy Holly was in the courtroom for that 15 minute hearing that lasted three hours. Amy. Well, here's why. Frazier Glenn Cross told the Johnson County judge today he wants no help from his court appointed attorneys. Cross, confused about the court proceedings today, interrupted the judge with rambling questions, off topic arguments, profane outbursts, and then came the warning from the judge about Cross's potential future. Self proclaimed white supremacist and anti Semite Frazier Glenn Cross entered the courtroom today with a victory salute originally used by the Nazis, which led the judge to temporarily remove him from court. Once he was wheeled back in, he asked the judge for a change of venue for his death penalty trial due to too much publicity. But Judge Ryan denied that request due to lack of evidence. Shot. Cross also asked the judge to remove his court appointed attorneys. He wants to represent himself in his own capital murder case. The 74 year old is accused of killing two adults and a teenager and shooting at others at two Jewish facilities in Evelyn Park in April of last year. The teen, Reed Underwood, was at the Jewish Community Center to attend a singing competition. Today, officers escorted Cross out of the courtroom again. We'll take a break. After he interrupted the judge with a racist outburst. When they wheeled him in again, the judge had this warning for Cross, looking ahead to his August 17th trial. If you're blurting out like you've done today, like you've done in every court hearing we've had, when we have a jury here, as I've told you before, you stand a chance of caught you, not me, you causing a mistrial. Then Pretty tense at times. The trial is set for August 17th and is expected to last through September. If given a death sentence, Cross will get an automatic appeal to the state Supreme Court, and that could last for years. Amy Holly, 41 Action News.